Oh my God. Look at that. Guys, I can't tell you the amount of times I've had insects and bugs land on my shirts. They always say a ladybug, if it lands on you, it's good luck. But this feels like a whole nother level of good luck. Guys, why don't y'all show me just how lucky it is by hitting that like button. I really appreciate it. It goes a long way. Let's get right down to it. So basically what you've seen here is the polyphemus moth. The polyphemus moth is named after the ancient Greek myth of the Cyclops named polyphemus. The polyphemus moth is one of 3,200 silk moths. Silk moss caterpillars, or the larval phase of a moth, spin silk cocoons. And the ancient Chinese would use the silk strands by simply spinning it and creating yarn that they could turn into textiles and different fabrics. And they used a lot of this fabric for trade. You may have heard of the Silk Road. This moth, the polyphemus moth, is in the family of Saturnidae. Saturnidae moths are often referred to as Saturnids. The Saturnids are some of the largest species of moth, including the Luna moth and the Atlas moth, which is the world's largest moth. The Polyphemus moth is easily identified by those beautiful eye spots on his back end and two on his upper wing. Those eye spots remind me of a peacock. Now, the larval phase, or the caterpillar, of this moth is said to be able to eat 86,000 times its body weight in its life cycle. The Polyphemus moth's range is quite large, from as far south as Central America through the entire North American continent, including Canada, and even in the subarctic regions. Their average wingspan is about six inches. Many of these moth species are attracted to light, and they are somewhat nocturnal as well. Like I said before, guys, make sure you hit that like button if you like this episode, and this guy's off on his own to reproduce and create new colonies of polyphemus moths. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check out some of our previous like videos. Like the Luna Moth or the Tomato Horned Worm Sting Test. Thanks again.